Warm protein for your muscles and ex Valentine's. Ahead of Valentine's Day for a small donation, some zoos will name a cockroach or worm after your ex and then feed it to one of their animals like a sloth bear. The bear, like humans, requires protein not just for building muscle and tissues, but to support the immune system, hormone production, and many other necessary functions. But in some developing countries, humans don't have access to enough or any high quality animal or plant protein, which contributes to a higher mortality rate. So it's important to identify alternative, more sustainable protein sources and determine how well they promote life-sustaining protein synthesis. To aid in this, Dutch researchers had 24 volunteers perform five sets of leg press and leg extension exercises. Then they gave the volunteers either 30 grams of milk protein or, no, not cockroach protein, that'd be gross but 30 grams of lesser mealworm protein that has a similar amino acid composition as milk protein. Just don't try it on your cereal. The rates of digestion, absorption, and protein synthesis were measured over the next five hours, which all turned out to be similar whether the amino acids came from the milk or worm protein. So while worm or insect protein may not be your first choice, they may be the difference between life and death for people in developing countries. Now, the volunteers drank the protein mix in 300 milliliters of water without knowing which protein they just downed. But the authors of the study didn't provide Provide any information on the taste or palatability of the worm protein, as if eating lesser mealworms was commonplace in the Netherlands. Or maybe the volunteers were fine with it because all the worms they consumed had names of their ex-Valentines, whom they wouldn't have to worry about this year. As always, matchers come from peer-reviewed research.